Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is March 6th. Um, yeah, the sixth day of the March Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, short, short encoding of words. Okay, so you have an encoding of words. What does that mean? The sh length of the shortest reference string. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't really read it. Okay, the reference string S. Ends of the for each. Hmm. And we just have to return the thing. Okay. I mean, we don't have to care about the index, uh, even though they use it here. So then, with that in mind, then this problem reduces each one to okay, um, the sub substring character things, um, like or suffix substring. Does it have to be suffix? Actually, let me double check this. Okay, the weapon string S. And to the for each and up to but not including the next sec. Okay, yeah, so you cannot have like so what I was looking for to see with is if you can have like I am in the middle or something, but it seems like that is not the case. But that's my assumption now. I think my reading is a little bit weird weird, but um hmm. So yeah, okay. So I think this is straightforward because um, there's only 2,000 words, so 2,000 square or 2,000 choose two, maybe in a better way, will we'll definitely not be that bad. But um, hmm. let's see, right? What 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 would I want to do? There are a couple of ways we can think about it. N square is going to be or n choose two, which is still n square, but um, the cho the choose two part divided by two, so it's about two million. Uh, possibilities and anytime it by seven is about 14 million that's off my back of my head for the worst case um that's probably cutting it in python for lead code specifically but uh but it probably should be fine in any other language um and then you can do that to kind of eat up characters there are also other ways to do it uh for sure i think one way that we can do it is sorting the words by the length and because the, the idea there is that um if you have two words if you have two words uh if you have two words how do i say this if you have two words then you know the smaller length string will be um you know uh, it can only be encompassed by a bigger string so then after that you can do some you can do a for loop for it um, and I think that would be probably fast enough. We could use a lookup table, a hash table, or something like that to kind of um, check whether this current string is already encompassed by another string on the suffix. And we could b use a hash table to keep track of all the uh, substrings that we've seen before. Uh, uh, by the substring, I mean suffix substrings that we've seen before. Take advantage that the length is only seven, so we can actually just store at worst seven copies. And of course, if you want to do some optimizations there, you can also use some kind of um, cleaner hash function, um, you know, like similar to uh, what's the algorithm? What am I thinking of? The the one with the rolling hash. Um, so you can do that. Um, and in fact, with seven characters, you can just, are they all lowercase? Yeah, you can actually just hash it to, um, you can hash it to, uh, uh, what you might call it? You can hash it to um, to a number, a, a, a base twenty six number, right? Um, to kind of you know, so then you don't you don't have to worry technically as much about um, about the length of the string if you you know if that's what you worry about, um, and then that of course that number gets hashed anyway again. Uh, but okay, that, let's do that. Let's play around with that, and uh, and but yeah, that was just a way to kind of um, think about the complexity. But but that's a that's a constant time uh, optimization. If you could think about why that is the case, I don't think maybe that's that, that matters that much um, because it's not a big compression um, unless you do your mod yourself, which I guess maybe you can. But um, 
Okay. So I'm going to do the naive, or uh, not naive, but more naive way that I was talking about. So let's do, let's sort the words by key is equal to lambda of x. We 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 sort this by the length, and also because um, we want to sort by the negative length so that we get the highest first. So then now we have a lookup table. Uh, actually, it could be set because we don't really care about whatever it is. Um, and then now we have an an answer um, number. Terrible way of name, but that, that's what we have for now. And then we can do something like four word in words because this is already sorted by the, the longest to the shortest. So then that means that we can reconstruct um, see if this was encompassed in a suffix by another string and first we can just and this actually is made to be easy on this part so we just do if a word is in lookup then we continue because then now we're done because we, that means that that we can put this on a suffix of a string and we're done right otherwise then the answer is equal to the length of the word plus one for the plus one for the star or hashtag or whatever um and then and then now we want to populate the word the lookup table which we want to uh, take the suffix, right? So then that is just for, um, hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's a clever way to do it in Python, but maybe not. Uh, I mean, maybe, I mean there definitely is, but, but I, I don't have a quick way of doing it because I think uh, <laughs> there are a lot of smart uh, people uh, with Python. So, uh, so yeah. So anyway, so we just look at the net last X letters. Let's start from one and I think we want to get the length inclusive. Um, and then we just add it all the way through um, as a lookup. And this is, of course, all of seven times we want to call it that, which is on. We'll, we'll do the analysis later. Um, is this right? I always mix it up. I think this is right, actually. Yeah. Um, and then at the very end, we just return answer. <clears throat> Let's, you know, test some cases, give it some love. And. It's very possible that, to be honest, uh, I might have misunderstood this problem. So if that's the case, then we might have to do it again because it just feels a little bit weird. But uh, let's give it a submit and then see what our wrong answers are. Oh, no, cool. Accept it. Okay, cool. So what is the complexity here? Um, well, this is going to be n log n for the sorting uh, here. And, and yeah, and this actually doesn't care about the characters in a word because because we don't, you know, this, this assumes the length of the um, the word is all of one. And here, this is all of n iterations, or just n iterations, I suppose, not all of n. Uh, I mean, it is all of n, but it is also one. Um, this is all of one lookup, and here is all of um, the length of the uh, uh, string. So this is going to be all of n times uh, l, maybe, where n is the, l is the length of the string. Oops, string, right? So that's basically the time complexity for this problem. Um, in terms of space complexity, uh, the lookup is also going to be n times l because for the same reason, uh, because we have n words and each of them could be length l, even though we don't usually need all of them. Um, oh yeah, and this is, uh, I didn't go over the time complexity. I mean, I went over here, but then that means that the total time complexity would be O of n log n plus n times l and in terms of space complexity it's just n times l um because all on the lookup table because the lookup table will be uh let's see the lookup table will just be the number of words times th this basically represents the, the number of characters and all the words all together and that's going to be in the lookup uh that's actually a little bit uh not true uh, i lied a little bit um because actually if you pay attention to this um, this adds this as uh, this adds um, a, a character I mean, a word of length one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus l which of uh, not all of um, which is which of course as you know is just and I actually I always mess it up so much. <laughs> uh, is either l someone like this or it's either <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit that I always have to like do the math in my head to see whether this is n plus one or n minus one um but yeah but so this is this which is you go to o of n uh, sorry l square right so actually this is the l square space which is maybe a little bit big um 
but you can actually reduce this by using a hashing function so that um, you can hash this. If you do a pre-hash, um, and there are some trade-offs here, of course, with false positives, um, which we you can do also fix with double hashing maybe. But but the idea that but you know uh, but the idea here is that you can reduce storing instead of all of L length, you just store one plus one plus one plus dot 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 is equal to L, which is obviously all of L. So you can definitely get this under all of n times L with some you know heavier caveats. But that's the way that I would think about it. Um, cool. Um, I think that's all I have for this problem. It's a little bit weird problem because I feel like the explanation is not super. I mean, it's one of those problems where the explanation is, or uh, the problem statement is super precise, but it's so precise in a way that it is not in English. You know, like it's it's this might as well as be in math, which is fine. It happens from time to time. Um, but of course, in an interview, you would have you could talk through your misunderstandings with the interviewer where. Um, where it might not be the case here. Um, so, uh, like when you're doing it online, sometimes there is going to be some confusion. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe and join me in Discord. Hope y'all doing well. Uh, and I will see you later. Um, yeah, take care of yourself, take care of others and, you know, do good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.